Good everybody. I hope you've had a great day. Hey, listen, this is brought to you by FTX. If you haven't got your account, 10% off your trading fees in the description below. So go get it. Um, also, how to go long, how to go short, how to manage your risk, and how to raise your orders. It's all there. So check it out in the description and get yourself going. All right. So if there are two words that can describe the market right now, it would be ho-hum. Because that's where we're at. We're at ho-hum time. Ho-hum, what's happening? Not much, not much at all. Listen, I'm telling you right now that we're sideways. We are crab walking, scuttling along the side of the beach, just not doing a great deal, but that's okay. Because a couple of things that you need to become aware of is this. Uh, as we crab walk uh, a little bit longer and continue to crab walk, if that continues, we will see, <coughs> excuse me, another weekly candle close. We've got three days and 21 hours to go, right? So that means that if we continue to crab walk on the daily and whatnot, when that weekly <laughs> closes, um, <laughs> the moving average is will catch up, which means that we won't be so far outside of that weekly cradle zone. Of course, what a super run we've had. We could certainly come back a lot deeper, but the signs aren't there just yet. We haven't seen any real capitulation. We've just seen a bit of a pullback. It's been pretty quiet. And you can see that here on this daily. Still got to break down through there, really, for any significance in my eyes. Um, we'll wait and see. But what it does do, and this is the reason I'm doing the video, is there is a time to be long, there's a time to be short, and there's a time to go fishing. And time to go fishing is now. Uh, there's not much going on. And, you know, if you really wanted to squirrel down to the super lows, you know, hit the 15s and whatnot, um, even there, you know, there's, as it stands right now, we, we got that sort of blustery end of the day. Bitcoin pushed on pretty hard, as did most markets, to be fair. <clears throat> um, and since then, that was sort of driving towards the close of the day, which was at 11, just there. Since then, we're just... <whistles> but there's no cyclicity. There's no trend. There's no... There's not much to it, you know? There really isn't. Uh, so it's a great time to be accumulating. It's a great time to be reading, to be learning, to be going through your trade logs, seeing how you can be better. And it's a perfect time to go through and do the bloody course if you want to. But seriously, um, there's a time to be trading and there's a time to sit back and we don't have any cyclicity right now. So I'm going to be sitting back on Bitcoin. Bit of perspective on that weekly though. Ethereum's still got that trend kicking on, right? Uh, I was pretty, I actually raised an order last night in here, I like that. It broke down, so I took my stop out, cancelled the order, um, didn't lose anything because I wasn't in, of course. But look at how it bounced back, you know. I was pretty keen on, it on the 8 in here, um, but it ended up being a really big candle. Now, this trend is still very much in place. So Ethereum is one of the ones that I'm watching, I'm stalking very closely, you know, very like going to the jail, going to jail stalking. I'm watching it very closely because... Look, it's got legs. It, it really looks like it's got legs. This trend, the cyclicity is there. It's had its pullback. It really started to wind up and then it, now we need that wind up to continue and, and explode out. You look at this daily, the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about, we can't call this a high here, by the way. This is the trend, high, high, low, high, high. So we are divergent on that. That doesn't mean too much to me, um, other than I won't be taking trades on this time frame right now, all the 12 at this stage based on the rules. But, the amount of times I've seen divergence just continue, you know, it doesn't mean it's going to pull back. It's pulling back a little bit now, but I am keeping a very close eye on this market because it, it just, you know, whether it be a little breakout level or, or you know, we could even get this push on to the one hour and get higher lows and higher highs, I'm waiting. The only market that's really done anything today has been XRP and it just happened. You know, it happened really recently. Boom, boom, three and a half percent. Throw another one on top and it happened over half an hour. The cyclicity is not there. It's just a big straight up in the air. Um, it's not real good as far as I'm concerned. It's not really a chart that I'm, uh, you know, stalking. Bitcoin Cash also been crabbing very, very sideways here. Again, look at the look at the chart here. You know, I just... That's a time when you want to sit back a bit more. You know, you want to sit back because it's not as easy to make money throughout those periods. Now, granted, I trade the way I trade. This might be perfect conditions for you, so go for it. But it ain't something that I'm interested in. I want to find that cyclicity, those beautiful trends. That's where I make my money and it makes it much more easy because there's a lot of cyclicity and a lot of uh, momentum. These are the trends I like to trade. <whistles> something like that. This, it's got to work itself out. 
and it's very sideways on Litecoin, so it's out the door. EOS, I tell you what, if we can bust up above this level here, that three, that sorry, 291, 92 region, we will have a bit more momentum, but it's not there yet. Again, I'm happy to sit back. BSV is one of, you know, you've got EOS, complete ugly duckling right now when it comes to charts, right next to the other ugly duckling, which is BSV, I had that one super duper day, and since then, bah, straight back down. And it's been sideways, not good for trading for me. BNB. Now, here's what I'd like to see. Again, here's another chart that um, that does have a bit of divergence once again on this daily. That daily candle is bullish. It was strong. It didn't break the upside. It could still do that. I want to see this higher taken out before I really get too involved. Uh, the pull, what's that? The pull back here, look, higher, low, higher, high, pull back. But again, it it's now broken that high. So again, Binance is sort of out of the the list for me because a high to a low there's no cyclicity there for me and I'm going to stay out keep my keep my beans um, again another one Cardano this is probably the most bullish chart of uh, of the lot uh, I also I do like Ethereum they sort of look fairly similar except for there's no divergence here on Cardano we did pop the high of that candle um, certainly would be nice to see it push on a bit higher and get that cyclicity back because look if you come down again here to this 8 hour you know, higher low, higher high, pullback. It was a pretty long-winded pullback and a very big bounce, but nearly 10% um, on the reverse there, but it's a bit ugly. Again, just waiting for that cyclicity, which is starting to show itself at the moment. I wanna see, like I can do the 15, I can do the 30, I love to dance to those time frames, but I need to see that cycle push on a little bit further and just rounding it out. We'll go to link back on the four here. Again, pull back. Many people got that, got one to one, got your stop to here, and got yourself a wee little profit, about half a percent or so if you were scaling out at one to one. Um, at this stage, again, it pulled back deep. It popped hard. The cyclicity's not there. Lower time frames, it's trying. So there are um, green shoots or green leaves or whatever it's called that are on the table. We just got to wait and be patient. You know, there's not a great deal on my watch list today because a lot of the market, when it did pull back, the cyclicity wasn't there or the candles were too big. This can change very quickly. It could change tonight. It could change in the next, well, I won't be the next hour, but it will take a little bit. Tomorrow morning's another day and tonight is night. So it's let some time unwind, come back to this and be ready. But that's what I'm looking at. I'm waiting for that cyclicity at this moment. And I'm just sitting tight. Have a great day. Visit tradercob.com and get your FTX account with your 10% discount on fees below. Cheers, guys. Bye for now. The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain.